I was expecting that. I got it. It was worth getting up early for. Was it a blast? Yeah! Oh, did it blow you away? <laughs> yes. <laughs> blew me away. <laughs> blew me away? <laughs> I don't know. I came down to see Pink Floyd, man. I don't know where all the commotion is. The blast came from the south and went towards the north in a circular fashion. It came down. That's how we designed it. And as the charges went off, gravity took over, and that was the beauty of it. Everything went picture perfect. We had some concerns with the public. Obviously, we had a little bit of delays, but that was expected. That's part of the planning, and I want to thank the City of London and everybody involved, the police fired. It was a team effort. And police say there was a lot of cooperation from the public. Despite fears to the contrary, folks kept their distance from ground zero. There was no trouble from anybody. Everybody was uh, very orderly. Everybody did what we were supposed to do, and everything went off without a hitch. We're very happy. It went off well. Ditto from Mo Greenspoon, the 82-year-old co-owner of the demolition company who was among all the bystanders behind the barricades the whole time. You probably get a bigger kick out of people's reactions than you are watching the building go down. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. I like talking to people that are here for the first time. And yeah. how they enjoy it, you know. And how's it rate? Uh, medium size, I would say. Yeah, medium size. But a big blast for London. Uh, I think it's the first for London, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Over the next four weeks, Green Spoon workers are going to be picking through the rubble, sorting it out, recycling a lot of it. They're going to take all the metal and leave behind the concrete, which is going to be used as backfill for the new building. John Lewis in downtown London for News Now. <laughs>